Atlanta, how y'all doing? Can you put your hands together again for Mama Soul one more time? Was she not phenomenal? Real hip hop. If you're happy to be alive, make some noise, ATL. Are y'all ready to hear some real music? Very quickly, my name is Jamal Lockman from Jazz 91.9 WCOK, Atlanta's Jazz Station. I appreciate y'all so much. I've been uh, at WCOK now 28 years since 1995, playing the best in just good music. And I've been supporting this crew for the past 15 years, since 2008. Can you believe it? I remember their first show in Atlanta, it was like 50 people in the audience. And now look at it. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And after five Grammys, y'all, they are one of the baddest bands in the world. Will you please put your hands together for the one, the only, my little brothers, Snarky Puppy. Come on, y'all.
my soul, please. She came down for the show tonight and, and so glad to be back. We've played here a couple times in the last four years, but in kind of special circumstances. One time with Steely Dan at uh, a chance thing, maybe some of y'all were there for that. And then at the Sweetwater for 20 Festival, which was also a blast. But it's nice, also nice to kind of, you know, be in a situation like this where we kind of have the whole night to do what we want to do. And, and, uh, and, and Tonight, what we want to do is play a whole bunch of new music for you from a record. Thank you. I'm very relieved to hear that. Um, uh, from a record that came out in September called Empire Central. Um, thank you. Uh, so those first four songs are brand new from that record. Uh, that record has 16 brand new songs from 12 different composers. Thank you. Um, and we're just gonna keep the train moving with the new music that's all right with you. As much as everyone loves hearing me blabber. This next song is called Haniara.
Thank you.
Bullock on the saxophone. There's a song called Trinity written by the man on my right, Mr. Mark Latiri. It's called Trinity for a lot of reasons, but one is the Trinity River. It runs through three people here from Texas. I like that. This record is actually, the whole record is about Texas and for Texas, about uh, honoring and celebrating Texas's musical legacy over the last century and beyond. Um, a lot of musicians that maybe you don't know are from Texas all the way back to like Blind Lemon Jefferson and Charlie Christian and then people like Janis Joplin, Roy Orbis and Don Henley, Sly Stone, and then people more recently like Roy Hargrove, Nora Jones, Robert Glasper, Chris Dave, Jason Moran, Eric Harlan, Kendrick Scott, Kirk Franklin, Erica Badu. Beyonce, Usher, there's some Texans out there in the world playing music uh, and strangely it's kind of not so advertised because Texans are not known for not advertising themselves but in this case they don't uh, so we're trying to do it for them a little bit and this next song I feel like we couldn't do a record about Texas without doing a Texas shuffle y'all never heard of a Texas shuffle in Atlanta, Georgia? If you haven't, well if you haven't you're about to find out because that guy is about the best in the world at doing it, Jason J.T. Thomas back there on the drum set. If you didn't know what a shuffle was, about three and a half minutes into this song, you shall. This song's called RLs. Mark, why don't you talk to them about Texas for a second first. <laughs>
J.T. Thomas on the drums, y'all. Nate Worth. On the 
drum set, Jason J.T. Thomas. And how about an extra special hand, a big one, for the Snarky Puppy crew, especially Mike Harrison back there behind the soundboard, Claire McEnany on lights, links on the cameras, and the spears, Skylar Childress, Mason Davis, Rosanna Freeman, Kirk Stewart, Kareen slinging merch in the bag. My name is Michael Lee, we're Snarky Puppy. It's been a pleasure to spend our last night of tour with you all here in Atlanta.
Thank you so much. As I said, this is our last night of, uh, uh, of, of uh, the first uh, big tour of the year, and so we're, uh, we're, we're so grateful to be able to spend it with y'all. Um, and uh, also very grateful that, that you allowed us to play, like, I think it was something like an hour and 40 minutes of new music, which for us is very important, very, very important. As much as we like playing old songs, you know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, the songs that people go to a gig that they want to hear that night are songs that when, you know, when the band, whatever band it is, whenever they first played those songs, no one wanted to hear those songs, right? Thank you very much. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you. So, it means a lot to us that we can keep moving on and doing new stuff, and, and, uh, and we can only do that if you let us, so uh, we don't take that for granted. Also, I want to say uh, another big thanks, not only to Mama Soul, but for you all for being such wonderful listeners. I was out there, and it was incredible to see how, it's incredible to see how warmly our audiences receive the people who play first, so I want to appreciate Soul and you all for that, so thank you for being such a beautiful crowd for her. We're gonna play a song, it's uh... No, it's cause the last time that I did this when the keep bass was plugged in, I announced the song and the song started and I didn't plug my bass in in time. So that's why I had to do that real quick. So this next song we're gonna play is a song we almost never play, but since y'all uh, listen, to, listen to like so much new music, we're gonna play an old one that you might know and it goes a little something like this.
special night there, y'all. You've been incredible, Amara. Thank you. We'll be over there signing stuff, come saying, hey, it's been wonderful to end the tour with y'all. Thank you so much. See you soon. Thank you.